Yeah, never mind. Yeah. So yeah, Ascension. See, it's, that, that's that's real. Taco it Waffle lives. spreading his misinformation. Yeah, Taco's been getting Taco. the date wrong for Taco a propaganda. month. We've talked about it so many times, and he still gets it wrong. I don't get it. And he's gonna be yeah, there. I'm not, sure. I'm not even gonna be there. Bruh. So no, I'll, I'll, anyway, I'm, be there. I'm gonna show up. I can't. That's um, right, man. Battlefield will be the pick. But, oh. and uh, already the fallacy of Pyramithra is being exploited before our very eyes by Frost, uh, who takes that stock with a nice edge guard. Yeah, that was a very quick stock, very convincing lead there um, out of nowhere. Again, just showing uh, proof of concept that Krom probably has the best matchup in terms of sorties here. Um, Frost opting for, you know, the more, the more flexible game plan. Yeah, um, I, I agree because, again, it's very hard to get close to Mithra because she's so fast. Pyra, you don't want to approach because she's so deadly and she right. does a lot of damage. Yeah, you don't want to so smack I, I, I agree with the, the Yeah, I agree with the Kromit because his and C is king. Right. Um, and I, I think in terms of... Uh... I don't know, the recovery the, the recovery aspect is, you know, if Frost isn't careful, nice F tilt's gonna take that 3 1 lead in favor of Frost. Um, Arconi can really, like, lay down the hurt with an F smash from either Pyre or Mithra to stuff out Crown's recovery. Um, he doesn't have an active hitbox um, when he's at his apex, so you can kind of just whack him out of it. Yeah, if you want to, if you're brave enough to. Yep. I mean, if you know the timing. Ooh! Oh, nice. Great DI to survive that. And a great air dodge to get back to stage without getting hit by that Nair. Excellent, excellent display from Frost. Exhibiting a great level of survivability. That back air will finally do it though. Kills from center just because of how strong that vertical hitbox is. Right, Arconi's got a big mountain to climb, but he's got his climbing gear on. Yeah, you see there, he tried to challenge it. But he didn't. He didn't really. You, you take a little bit of chip damage if you guess wrong. Um, worst case scenario, right. you actually trade places with Krom and you die, and he doesn't. Then you really get robbed. Um, but hopefully, you know, if you do it right, you won't. You won't suffer such consequences. It's something you need to be very smart about, to say the very least. Um, right. But uh, it's it's not looking good for our hero right now, Arconi, uh, trying to hold it down for those who aren't top five in SAK. Uh, and you know, he's, oh. he's been able to bring it back to one stock, so I, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Right. Uh, but it is looking grim, to say the least. Oh, back here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Splitting Mithra like in he... half. Boom. Yeah. Full Rage Pyramithra is scary, though. Definitely. Oh, yeah. And some oh, dumb, yeah, some really stupid crap can come about once, once they get going, if you really fall into a that situation. We've seen it before too. Arconi's really he knows what to do. He knows how to pull out the the the, the weirdo type of stuff, you know. Yeah, 100%. So we are going to game 2. Same stage, same Twitch channel. Same tournament, same players, you know. You know the drill. And well, imagine a set so again, hype. Imagine a set so hyped that we'd have to change the Twitch channel. I've seen it done before. Really? I have, yes. My goodness. Not here, but I, I've seen it done. Anyway, no, not, not here. Um, Battlefield will be the counter pick because, you know, run it right back. Sorties like the stage, um, and, and Mithra, I think, likes it a lot too uh, because, you know, she's fast at rising and falling, but not to be outdone. I have to believe Krom with their destructively powerful aerials is actually a little bit better on the stage than Mithra and Pyra are um, with their fast aerials. Or right. Mithra with her fast ones, Pyra with her slow but big ones. Big beefy ones, right. Yeah, just as you saw right there, Arconi going off stage just to chase Frost and he didn't even throw out an aerial. Just the, just the presence of his character being there scared him enough into backing off, which ultimately led to his uh, just down the uh, demise there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, there's the kill. Yep. Good job, Frost, taking that stock. Quarter and to um, I, I'm really liking the uh, the the catches of these landings by Arconi this match with his F smash. Is that the second time I've seen it 
Um, and you know it, he's doing quite well with that. Yeah, these these uh, landings is one of the things that you know I, I feel like this uh, Arconi is pretty good at like catching or just to exploit in general. Oh, nice Ooh. SDI to go behind Krom. Just he goes, just goes behind him. Yeah, I, we saw B Rise play sorry. that earlier. Arconi might have been uh, tuning in to watch that, so uh, he could get <laughs> you know a better uh, perspective on his opponents that he might be playing later. And right. hey, if that's the case, it came to fruition. Oh, right. should have F tilted. Do you, do you see that? Yeah, he tried to challenge it. Yeah. Yeah. Try to challenge it with F smash, which has good range, but just misspaced a little bit. I think F tilt's better just because it's faster, so it comes out further when you lean in. And F smash is just kind of slow. What? That was weird looking. Yeah, no, I agree with you somewhat because, like, Krom's up B is a little lengthy, right? So, but if you have a powerful attack that's roughly the same, like, amount of time, like, it takes the same amount of time to, to come out, then if you both, like, you know, if you both start your attack at the same time, because you, it's really, it's you know, you can tell when Krom is gonna start his up B, then uh, you can com the, the startup is comparable. You can challenge him. Right. Another up B gonna come out. The last hitbox will not connect. This is Max Rage Krom, and that backer will not be killing from center. Wow, really? Uh, Mithra Switch gonna need to come out to get that recovery. Forward throw off stage. Frost just pressing the A button. Okay, uh, footsies. Uh, I guess we'll call uh, it that. Yeah, footsies. Uh, respect. And there's oh, the up smash. Earth. Up smash on his shield finally breaks the tension. Swing first, bro, yeah. he said. Swing first. All right, he swung first. Nice. That's, that's the play, man. Dance. Krom's double-edged dance is it's good, but it's not like like 150. Look at that. Like It's not Roy's, you know. Again, another trade-off. Oh, no, absolutely. And Roy's, when you can hit the sweet spot consistently, is quite powerful. And actually, I haven't seen... Um, there, there's, a, there's a setup. If you hit the uh, the first hit of side B, um, and then you go up for the next one, but then straight for the next two, it'll sweet spot nearly every time. And I don't know why I don't see Frost employ that more often uh, when they play it Roy. Be, it could be weight-specific, I'm not sure. That sounds that sounds uh, niche. That sounds weight-specific. <laughs> It sounds like it shouldn't work, but it, it literally just does. Right. Um, against, I don't know. I, in, in my experience, it works. Maybe it's like bad SDI or something. I don't know. But right. Like I, I've heard that that's a better option to more securely get those um, side bees. And mm -hmm. I don't know. That's true. Hopefully, we yeah, can that, maybe see Frost learn yeah. that and be a, a force. Right. That's a lab thing, man. Um. Anyway, we've seen Frost though recently. Oh, gets hit by the up B. Nice, nice DI. He's not gonna die. Um, Frost running yeah. uses up B. Oh, the F smash not gonna kill either. Nope. See, Arconi's been routinely trying to challenge these uppies though. Oh, that uh, one's gonna do it. Big yeah. Game. Frost puts his head down. He did not want to lose that one. He's a little frustrated probably. Um, but no, it's okay. It like you had a flex game, man. Now you gotta win the next flex game. Right. So there's the, I mean, that was the F smash that almost connected. And then, yeah, uh, dropped his shield right at the last moment because didn't really expect the up B to come out again, but it did, unfortunately. And uh, Smash Hole is the counter pick. I like the stage a little bit for uh, Frost specifically. Uh, I don't know how, I, I think Krom likes the stage too just because they can cover a lot of it because they're fast. But that remains to be seen. Of course, Mithra, uh, one of the fastest characters in the game with the most coverage, so I wouldn't put anything past her. Right, no, I, I understand that. Yeah, definitely, definitely true there. Um, oh, Foresight's gonna get up, get out of that combo quite early. Um, I feel like this map is also good for uh, Pony, though. It's also good for the Power Mithra because you get like a you get a Power Four tilt on any like you know left or right quarter or even like left or right third of the stage at like anything past a hundred, then you're in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Right. Yeah. So yeah, and uh, and, and this stage, this stage is such that um, you know those F tilts are incredibly powerful from Pyra, and they will be killing a lot. Now, something we haven't seen a lot from Arc um, Arconi, as I start talking about it, is these neutral bees. Neutral bees right. a move that's increasingly uh, more prevalent in the meta, um, and I've been seeing people like Spargo do them out of combos um, and stuff like that, and. 
Um, I kind of want to see more of the uh, fall off stage uh, Pyra variant, but right. um, I don't know. The Flame Nova. Uh, yeah, the Flame Nova. If it's B reverse, we'll see. You cover a, a good amount of distance underneath the stage. Like, for example, if, like right. this stage is a good example. If you're playing against um, uh, a character that can have an, that has an upbeat that can slide right underneath the stage to snap to ledge. Doing that with Pyro by B reversing it will will catch that anyone doing that because of how big the hitbox is. Right, right. And on top of that, you get a, a, a mean little drift back as well. Yeah. So it's cool. It is cool. Yeah, Lightning Buster especially. Uh, Flame Nova more so off stage. I I agree with you. Lightning Buster though. Um, definitely being more definitely being used more and more as the days go by. Right, right. Like in and out of combos. I saw Cosmos do it to, uh, I think Spargo at Summit uh, a couple weeks ago. So, you know, the the more I see people tapping into this character's potential, the more interested I get to see where they're going to be in a tier list in a couple months, or right. who the first person to win a major with this character will be. Has Has Pyramithra not won a major yet? No. Interesting. I mean, we really haven't had that many. Um, I mean. We've had like two-ish, I guess, majors uh, since Offline Smash came back. Um, three of you include Summit. Yeah. But I haven't seen I haven't seen a Pyramithra win one yet. Yeah. So no, was actually, it was T, right? No, was no it, T? it was T. T one. T B glue. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was glue. No, it's T. Okay. Yeah. Um. And then uh, I Cola won Infinity Con. Nice SDI there gets out of it. Nice, he's gonna punish him yep. for a down air up air. That's the Pyra. That's it's the Pyra like red butter there. Uh -oh. Word, word. That's oh, the kill. No! Oh, an Arconi accidental SD there. Fist bumps turns around, is mad, and Frost is just like, okay, I was just gonna give you my bands. Shakes his head too. Damn, bro, the salt. Both these guys are mad. They are the salt, bro. It's flowing. Yeah. It's. I, I could season some chips with with all this salt. And you see the yeah, player cam again. The turn around. And uh, Smashville will be the pick again. For some reason, Arconi doesn't like to counter pick. Apparently, uh, they like to just play what was was selected for them. Right, uh, there's maybe no, it's there's a no defiance thing. That. Yeah, no I mean, I, I, there's no shame in it. I just don't want to go to a stage that my opponent has won on and clearly wants to go to. Right, I don't know. Wow, up there's. Oh, whoa. Nice. That was handsome. Save the jump. F smash, oh, nice. no kill. Hit below the ledge. Nice. Very nice. Very convincing. Yikes. Combo from another Frost. Damn. Prom looks so fast just by like scuttling back and forth. And there's the Lightning Buster to get their opponent off stage. There's no jump again. Goes for the spike. Not gonna connect, but I love the attempt. Super Armor gonna go through the entire F Smash. That next F Smash will connect though. And it's not gonna... off stage. They grab the ledge with an air dodge. It's not doing him in quite yet. Uh, Mithra's F Smash. Mithra's Smash attacks are his. Their up smash is really good. But the other ones don't have the same. They really they don't hit as hard. You know they don't hit different. Oh man, our is not gonna be able to make it back to stage. That was an excellent forward air from Frost off stage. Recognize that the um, blazing end was coming, but hit them since Pyra can't act out of um, anything while blazing end is active and spinning. So oh she couldn't get an uppy early. The raw uh, F smash will not kill. Barely makes it back to ledge. Arconi living on a prayer oh, wow. right now. Wow. Oh, and there's nice a counter. Recovery. That's gonna do it. Oh man, that recovery gimp, dude. That was two. That was multiple impressive beats in a row there. The uh, the 